Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm joined by Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we're going over a interesting four-way, four-lane, or four-lane, four-way, I should say, rail junction submitted by uh, Rockfallen or Rackfallen. Uh, yeah, so this, it's really cool looking first off. So bonus points there. It is really neat looking on the map, like in map view and just standing here. But uh, there are a few things that could be improved, and we have a Zuri improved version down to our left, but I'll let Zuri uh, take over here and kind of explain some of the issues, and then we'll go over, like, how we improved on it. Yeah, well, I can't fix all the issues. I'm not very fond of the lane swappers. Some people swear by them, but personally, I don't like them. But the biggest concern I have is this middle section. It basically has eight inputs and eight outputs in this one segment i think it's the term for this in rel right. so you can't have cross traffic if there's only one train that can occupy this middle place and that's about half the intersection actually is in this middle part mm -hmm. yeah so, so... yep it, it will reduce your throughput versus other intersections and one of my biggest complaints with Factorio is we don't have overpasses or tunnels. Yeah, this exactly. wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> nope, not at all. Um, so, so, yeah, you, I mean, it, you, the throughput is not going to be very high, right? So, I mean, also because of the lane switches. For this particular design, you need the lane switches so that the uh, inside lane can go right and the outside lane can go uh, left or straight. But... Uh, it, that also will hinder some throughput. And then there were a couple signaling issues here that you notice know, that could cause some pretty serious issues. Yeah, this could very easily jam up as it was signaled. But a lot of people wouldn't ever get around to figuring that out unless they built mega bases and had lots and lots and lots of trains. Mm -hmm. So without changing the, the overall design, we went down here and just changed some signals around. Right, so what we've done is, you notice on the first design, there were normal signals uh, on these entrance and exits. The problem with this, right, is if a train goes through, say, and stops at this signal because there's other trains in front of it, it's now blocking this entire area uh, and no other trains can go through, right? So what you need is you need chain signals so that if there's a train over here, a train trying to go through here stops back here before it even enters the intersection and will only go through once it has a completely clear path. Which is exactly what we've done here. Pretty much every single signal now is a chain signal aside from these uh, last exit signals that we have. Yeah, I couldn't really find a good place for a train to wait in here because everywhere it can stop, it'll cause uh, blockages. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, we made it essentially so that if a train comes to this, he has to stop before he even enters any part of this and will only go through uh, once he has pretty much an entirely clear path through the whole thing because that these are all chains. Some of them get really close though, like a train coming on the inside lane can stop here, which mm -hmm. is just right before the mess. Yeah, yeah, that is a, a good point. So he can get pretty close. But, uh, but yeah, so that's just the fixes. We didn't mess with the actual design, just change some signaling around. And, uh, you know, like we said, bonus points for it looking really cool and stuff. But in terms of efficiency, there are some uh, flaws just in terms of getting trains through here at a high rate. But, you know, as Zuri said, a lot of people may not discover it. So if you're just running, you know, a medium-sized base with maybe 20 trains or something, uh, you may not experience the issues that we mentioned. Yes, and again, all four-way junctions are inherently flawed. You can't really get around that. Yeah, they uh, they just definitely have some kind of built-in flaws, if you will. So, and some of this may change with 015. I know they're doing some train changes, uh, uh, but we'll go over that, obviously, in 015. I think quite a few designs will change, but uh, I believe that'll do it for now, unless you have nope. any last thoughts, Zuri. All right, 
Thanks as always guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll include the original blueprint as well as our fixed one in the description just in case you want to like compare and contrast or whatever. But uh, yeah, love to hear your thoughts out in the comments. Any more submissions as well. And until next time, we'll catch you later.